Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm comparing Advanced Custom Fields and Metabox. Which one should you use? That's a common question, and my goal in this video is to help you answer it. In order to provide you that information, there are going to be three areas of comparison. First, we'll look at market share and third-party support. Second, we'll look at the product design philosophy and feature comparisons. And third, we'll look at pricing and other considerations. Before starting the comparison, I want to thank Breakdance for sponsoring this video. Breakdance is a modern page builder that was built from the ground up to be easy to use and to have the advanced features that power users expect. Breakdance is fast, produces semantically correct HTML, and has no bloat. And Breakdance is relevant to this video because Breakdance has great support for advanced custom fields and Metabox. Use ACF or Metabox to create your custom post types and custom fields, then use Breakdance to display them the way you want to on the front end. So let's get started by looking at market share and third-party support. This is the free version of advanced custom fields in the WordPress plugin directory you'll see that it has more than 2 million active installs. Now, unlike some plugins, when you install the pro version of ACF, you actually uninstall the free version. You don't need them both active. And so we know there are many more than that 2 million plus installations because we need to add in the number of sites that are using the pro version. This is the core plugin for Metabox on the WordPress plugin directory we see it has more than 700,000 active installs. Metabox is number two in terms of number of active installs. Unlike ACF, this is a framework or a core plugin, and when you add pro extensions to Metabox, you keep the core plugin installed. Because of that, we know that for Metabox that there are actually 700,000 plus active installs in total, because the core plugin is required even when using Pro. So in terms of active installs, ACF probably has something like four times more active installs than Metabox. And we'll see that that plays a huge role in terms of third-party support. Because there are so many more sites, so many more people, using advanced custom fields, when a plugin developer decides they want to support custom fields, ACF is the default. And in every instance I've seen, the plugin developer adds support for ACF first. So think of all the page builders, Elementor, Beaver Builder, Bricks, Breakdance, and so on. The developers of those builders have added ACF support themselves. Because ACF is the default, many more third-party plugins support ACF than any of the other custom field solutions. And there are tons of training resources available online. In other words, the ACF team doesn't create a lot of training videos themselves because they don't have to. Now, when we look at Metabox, we see that they have extensions. So here, for instance, is the Divi integration. Here's the Elementor integration. And here's the Beaver Themer integration. The Metabox team has added these extensions to support these popular page builders because as number two, they have to do more work. And if we look at the blog on the Metabox website, we see they are regularly publishing training videos about using Metabox in diff with different builders and tools. The Metabox team is regularly creating their own training content. Let's go back to looking at the Metabox extensions. And this gives us a little bit of insight into the development philosophy of Metabox. Metabox is made to be very modular. Okay, we have that core plugin, the free plugin, and it contains all the field types that Metabox supports. But you know, it has no UI. Originally, Metabox was developed as a developer first tool, so everything was modular to keep it mean and lean. ACF, on the other hand, its philosophy from the beginning was just to try to do one thing and do it very well. ACF didn't worry about things like adding third-party support, and it is just one plugin. Yes, there are add-ons for ACF, but they're created by third-party developers. 
So let's go to a website where we have ACF installed. Okay, we have ACF Pro. And if we look down on the settings, we have a menu item for field groups, which is where you create your custom fields, for post types, for taxonomies, and a place to create option pages, which is a pro feature. All of these features of ACF are in one plugin. Now, if we go to a site with Metabox installed, you'll see that I have the Metabox core plugin, and then we have the Metabox all in one plugin. And if we look at the menu items, we see there's a dashboard, but then just like ACF Pro, we have a place for creating and managing post types, taxonomies, custom fields, for creating relationships, and for creating setting pages, which are like the option pages in ACF. So these types of features here in both Metabox and ACF are the nuts and bolts features that both have. However, if we go here and look at extensions, we see that these are all of the Metabox extensions available in one long list. And this makes it easy to enable or disable the features that you don't want. As you can imagine, when you disable a feature, it means that your site is a little more mean and lean. This Metabox all-in-one plugin exists because of user feedback. Users were needing to install extension after extension after extension, and the Metabox team listened to that feedback and created this all-in-one, easy-to-use interface so that users would need to have fewer plugins installed. If we go back to the Metabox list of extensions, you'll note that there are free and premium extensions available. And so, for example, Metabox has the free core framework extension. But if we look, they also have an extension for creating custom post types and taxonomies. However, what Metabox doesn't have in the free version is a UI you can install into the WordPress dashboard for creating your custom fields. There is a premium extension for that. I think that's a little odd that they do that. However, what they do provide is they provide an online generator where you can create your custom field groups, your custom post types, and your custom taxonomies. And this harkens back to that developer focus because these online generators give you the code that you can put into your functions PHP file or a custom plugin. Before we go on, I just want to take a quick look here and comment that people feel that the ACF UI is a little bit more modern and tighter and more attractive. than the Metabox one. There is a little bit of difference in the look of the UI. The functionality in those nuts and bolts features is virtually identical. Okay, now let's go to the ACF website and let's start comparing custom fields. You'll see that as we look in this list here, ACF has about 30 field types. Okay, and if we look at what comes in Pro, we'll see that it has some field types that are Pro only, like the repeater field, which is very powerful, the flexible content field, and the gallery field, and the clone field. Okay, so that's the way that ACF distinguishes free versus pro are those extra field types and those extra features. 
If we look at Metabox, the core plugin is free and they do have some free features, but what they provide is some functionality beyond just the nuts and bolts. Remember, ACF is focused on the core functionality and Metabox has additional features beyond that. For example, let's go down and look at the list of extensions. Here is Metabox Views. Metabox Views is like a superpower. It gives you a UI inside of the WordPress admin where you can use HTML, PHP, CSS, and JavaScript to create your own templates. And it does use code. It's a code solution. They do have helpers, however, that list all of the custom fields that you can insert into your templates. On more than one occasion, I've been saved by Metabox Views because the theme and builder I was using didn't support some feature that I needed, and I was able to quickly code it using Metabox Views. If we keep going down the list, here's the ability to create user profile forms for registering, logging in, and editing the user profile on the front end. So if you're running like a membership or course site or something like that, here is an extension for creating custom tables. If you have a huge number of records in your custom post types and you're using a lot of custom fields, it's possible you can see a degradation of performance. And one of the ways to address that is through using a custom table for storing your custom field values. And for large sites, that can be more performant than fetching the custom data from the regular place it's stored in the post meta. ACF doesn't have a native custom table solution. Instead, there is a third party that sells a plugin to add that feature. Okay, so that's something that's bundled into the pro versions of Metabox. Okay, if we keep going down and looking at some of these, here is the ability to create front-end form submissions for your custom post types. Okay, again, that's not a feature included in ACF for your pro. And there are several different third parties that sell plugins to add that feature. So that's something else that is a part of Pro Metabox. And then here as another example, the ability to display custom fields in the post listings in the WordPress admin. So I just wanted to point out that there are some powerful features in the Metabox bundles which ACF doesn't have. And again, that harkens back to the differences in the design philosophies of the two different plugins. Okay, let's take a look now at pricing. Here's the ACF Pro pricing. We see that they have one website for $49 a year, 10 websites for $149 a year, and unlimited websites for $249 a year. Here is the Metabox pricing. They have what they call personal plans, which are for one or three sites. So $49 a year for one site, with 12 Pro extensions, $99 a year for three sites with all extensions, or $299 for a lifetime package for three sites in all Pro extensions. Then the agency plans, which are for unlimited sites, $149 a year with 12 Pro extensions, or $699 for a one-time lifetime package with all Pro extensions. I suggest you do the comparison yourself on the prices, but it looks to me that Metabox has been priced just a little bit under the ACF pricing, but also Metabox has the lifetime options, whether it's for three sites or for unlimited sites, which is something that ACF doesn't have. Also, Metabox has coupons and they have sales on Black Friday which is something else that ACF hasn't offered. Okay, we've gone through a number of comparison points, so now let's have some discussion and conclusions. When we looked at market share and third-party support, we found that Advanced Custom Fields has approximately four times the number of active installs. 
We also noted that ACF has an easy to use free version all packaged up in a single plugin, while the free version of Metabox is spread across multiple plugins. Also, with the free version of Metabox, to create custom fields, you need to use an online code generator. I think this helps explain why ACF is more popular. ACF is supported by virtually all third-party themes and plugins that support custom fields. Further, there are a large number of free training resources available for ACF. Metabox, on the other hand, has added support for popular page builders themselves, and they regularly release tutorials on their website and YouTube channel. Looking at the development philosophies and features, ACF was careful to limit features to core functionality and provide an easy-to-use and attractive user interface. Note, however, that ACF has been sold a couple of times, and the new owners have introduced ads onto the admin screens. Metabox began with a developer focus, so it has a modular approach where you just add the features you want, one at a time. Metabox has all the features of ACF, but also additional functionality. Some of these features target common use cases, such as front-end forms, while others, like Metabox views and custom tables, are for more advanced usage. Over the past couple of years, ACF has had regularly spaced feature updates that produce quality of life improvements and add core features. Metabox functionality, however, is split across a number of separate extensions, which make it seem as if updates are more ad hoc. Both products are kept up to date and get regular enhancements. Advanced Custom Fields only offers annual pricing, and there haven't been any sales. Metabox seems to price its packages slightly below ACF, and Metabox has more flexible pricing options. Metabox offers lifetime packages, and there are occasional sales. Consequently, Metabox pricing is more attractive. Both ACF and Metabox cover the same basic features for creating custom post types, custom fields, and taxonomies. You can get the job done with either one. Site builders using ACF may have a smoother, more streamlined experience. Also, if you're not sure what other tools you're going to use, then note that ACF has the broadest support across third-party plugins. Using Metabox may require a few more clicks, and the user interface is not as polished. However, Metabox provides additional functionality over ACF and works well with supported products. Metabox is also more cost-effective. So that's the comparison of Advanced Custom Fields and Metabox. Did I miss something important? Do you have some insights you'd like to share? If so, please leave a comment below the video or on the WebTNG website where there is a text version. I hope you found the discussion interesting and useful. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.